Dudes, what's crack a lagging? So, I shot a video on biasing the PRS MT15 head, and uh, I got some questions. Uh, let's power this thing on. And some I had to research and look up. You know, I'm no expert here, fools. Power. So it's on standby. Let's warm it up for a minute. I'm just a hack like the rest of you. All right, so first question. When you bias the amp, did you have it on standby or play mode? Well, I had it on play mode, but let's put it on standby and see if it even makes a difference. Can you adjust the tube amp in standby mode? Well, as you can read by the dial, it's in standby mode uh, and it says zero. So you have to have it under loading. And so therefore it it cannot be in standby mode to do a bias. I noticed that the amp was in low power mode when you previously checked the biasing. Does it matter? Well, let's find out. Uh, second question. I noticed you did it in half power mode. Well, I did. Let's look at it in full power. It doesn't matter. Half power, full power mode, doesn't matter. It's gonna read in the same plate voltage. Does it matter when you check biasing if it is on the red or blue channel? I don't know. Does it matter if you switch the channels? Oh, goodness gracious, it's hard to get there. Well, there's red channel. So, as you guys can see, none of that stuff matters when you're adjusting biasing. It's all biasing about 28, three to five. So, all the same. My PRS MT15 came with five 881 power tubes. Could I put six L6s in it? Hell yeah, you can. Now, when you put six L6 tubes in it, I know they have a, a higher plate voltage. So if you're going from five 881s to six L6 tubes, you're definitely gonna need to rebias it because it's gonna bias cold for the six L6s or vice versa if you put 5881s in it would be biasing really hot and then you have to back it off. Can you put any octal tube in the PRS MT15 head? I'm gonna have to research that. Question, so do any octal tubes work in the PRS MT15? And the answers may vary, same with your mileage. So what I have here, are two tubes, 6L6, EL34. This is a bigger tube than this one. This is a taller tube than this one. They're the same type of tube. They're octal tubes. So let's put it this way. In theory, this EL34 will fit in the, in the, in the chassis, no problem. What you run into though, and my concern with this amp, and I'm not able to answer this clearly, is you can put EL34s in the amp, you can bias the amp, but these tubes run much hotter than what I think the PRS MT15 head is designed for. So I took the head off my Victory Kraken, just to show you guys, I don't have a Mesa. I want you to read this over here. So do you see where it says, remove top cover for bias switch, observe bias switch position when changing output tubes. So unlike the PRS MT15, the Victory Kraken is designed to accept both 6L6 and EL34s. I have 6L6s in here, but if I was to put EL34s, I'm supposed to take this little toggle switch right here, move it to the left, because that's biased for EL34s and the hotter, you know, the hotter too. Um, use caution if, if you're looking to do EL34s. I've seen some things on forums where people have swapped these in. Um, I'm curious long term if they're having burnout of anything, of the tubes or anything, because these are supposed to run much hotter. Um, my guess, if I'm to guess, is they don't sound as good as the 6L6s in there because they're not getting enough of the oomph. So they're probably running, they're biased a little cold 
and they probably don't quite sound as good as they should. So the amp has so much freaking gain. The reason why you're switching to this is because it's uh, it it has it breaks up sooner, right? So I mean, I my whole premise, and you guys have watched my videos, is to get some of the gain that's over the top out of the amp. You know, I'm trying to get a more pristine, clear gain tone. So my advice. Don't put the EL 34s in there. Um, get a, the 5881s. They're probably a pretty similar variant sounding to these. They're a lower plate voltage than the 6L6s. Uh, I don't have 5881s, um, but those bias nicely in the amp. I recommend trying those first. They're going to break up sooner, kind of like this tube. So it's kind of the 5881 is the 6L6 variant of trying to get this sound. Um, is it gonna hit exactly what a EL34 sounds like? No, but I bet it'll get you in the ballpark. So that's my advice on that. Stay away from these. Get a 5881 if you're trying to get this sound. And guys, it goes without saying, but I'll say it anyways. Um, make sure it's connected to a speaker cabinet. It needs to have the proper loading on the amplifier. Biasing or not, you still have to do that. All right, dudes. Well, that pretty much wraps up this video. Uh, let me know if you guys have some more questions uh, regarding biasing. I think the next video, I'm gonna order some 5881 tubes. Try it out myself. See if I can get some kind of martial tones or the EL34 type breakup with those tubes. So uh, stay tuned for that. Let me know if you guys have some other interesting video ideas to shoot some stuff on. With that, take care, love one another, and uh, please like, subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next video. See ya.